Do you fancy having some really nice little veggie plants in your garden this year? Well, what to sow in July? People often wonder, what should I sow this month? So here is exactly what I'm going to be sowing this month. And I'm going to be recommending one seed that if you sow nothing else, you have to sow this. Hey everyone, how's it going and welcome back. I don't know about you, but the year is pressing on and for me it really seems like this year is moving on particularly quickly. For me, the main theme of sowing seeds in July is all about continuation because you might have already sown seeds and be reaping the rewards or you might have lots of small plants like these that aren't quite mature yet but the promise of great things is there. Well, now is the time to keep that momentum going. Keep getting some of these seeds successionally sown and it's going to help extend the productivity of your veg garden and it's going to help you prepare with some nice plants for autumn, winter and even into the next spring. Now, I really love getting your comments and thank you to everybody who leaves a comment each week. What's been brilliant this year is seeing how much we have in common, how many plants that we grow that are exactly the same. So make sure to leave a comment down below if you feel like it and we can see what all of the community is growing this year. Now, without further ado, let's kick off and start talking about the seeds. And don't worry about having to write down all of these seeds as I go through them in the video. If you check in the description down below this video, you'll see a link to my website, nilegardens.com, where I'll post the full seed list of everything that's discussed today. The key with July sowings is that you want to be opting for quick maturing plants or plants that are going to set you up for later in the year. Things that are going to grow really nice and quickly in these nice summer conditions. So let's start by talking about salad leaves because you can still sow salad leaves in July because of the nice warm weather. They're going to get going really quickly and you're going to get a nice harvest. So for starters, you can't go wrong with sowing a nice lettuce. This is one that I've been sowing all year and this is called salad bowl. But as well as that, I'm now also going to be sowing maybe one or two other salad types just to give me a little bit of extra difference. So I'm probably going to go with something like a cos lettuce or a little gem just to add a bit more crunch because salad bowl does tend to be just that little bit softer. Alongside that, kale, they're really good for little baby leaves to add into your salad. And along with that, good old wild rocket. Again, this just adds a little bit more interest into any salad, except this brings a bit of fire and a bit of pep and a really strong flavor. At the other end of that though, corn salad, or as I know it, lamb's lettuce. I talk about this every month, but it's probably because it's my favorite salad leaf. Lovely soft texture and a soft flavor. So I keep successionally sowing that this year. And then to round all of this off, go with a nice salad mix that you like. I've been using a Tuscan leaf salad mix this year, but you can go for whatever you fancy. Have a look in the garden center or online. Or what I would recommend is if there's a bag of salad that you buy in the shop that you particularly like, have a look at the ingredients and then emulate that. So that's exactly what I'm doing here because my favorite salad has lamb's lettuce, kale, and also a little bit of spinach, which we'll come to later on. And if you get all of those seeds, you can basically make your own salad, just like the ones that you buy in the shop. Okay, now that we've got all of your salad needs discussed and hopefully sorted, let's move on to the next group of plants that I really think you shouldn't be without at this time of year, and that's herbs. Particularly if you use them in cooking, you get through so many fresh herbs that it's really good to successionally sow them or if you haven't started yet, it's still not too late. So a few suggestions of nice, easy herbs to grow. The first one, coriander. Now, I know it's a bit of a Marmite plant. You either love or hate the taste. I happen to love it, but confession, I haven't sown or grown any this year. I just haven't got round to it. So I'm going to be sowing some this year. 
And then as well as that, I love parsley and I'm going to be sowing two different types this month. The first is like a standard curly leaf parsley. This particular variety is champion moss curled. But as well as that, I'll be sowing a flat leaf parsley. And this is French parsley, plain leaf. So that gives me a nice little bit of variation. And as well as that, I'm going to be sowing some dill, which is particularly lovely with fish. And as well as that, chives. I plant chives everywhere because even if you don't eat them, they have lovely purple flowers. And at the moment, I actually have them dotted in amongst tagetes or French marigolds around the edges of some of my beds because they work really nicely as a companion plant to keep some of the pests off things like your carrots and plants like that. Hopefully so far you're enjoying the video and you're finding it useful and it's maybe giving you some ideas of some nice things that you can sow and grow in your own garden. If that's the case, I'm going to ask you to do me a favour, which is that if you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and join the channel. And if you could also hit the thumbs up button, that would be brilliant. Doing that helps to tell YouTube that people like yourself are enjoying the videos that I make and then it's going to recommend it to even more people in the gardening community. Thanks everyone. Now, let's get back to talking about seeds. Now, staying on the topic of leafy things, let's talk about leafy greens because you can still start sowing some leafy greens in July if you haven't already, or as I keep saying, successionally sow some more. So what I'm growing this year, I'm growing a rainbow chard, and as well as that, I'm also growing a pink chard called Pink Flamingo. They are really good to get into the soil at the moment. You can either grow them onto maturity or you can harvest the baby leaves and add them into all of your salad greens that you're growing. I love Asian leaves, so things like oriental cabbages can be sown now. And what I'm opting to go for this month is bok choy. This is the same bok choy that I've been sowing recently. And this is tri-coloured mix, which is three different types, just to add a little bit of extra interest into what I'm growing. And then finally, in terms of leaves, spinach. Spinach is really easy to grow. A bit like the bok choy, you can harvest it with baby leaves if you like, or you can grow it on. And where I find it particularly useful isn't actually for eating, it's actually for juicing. Putting it into fresh juices gives a really nice, healthy green hit to something that would otherwise be, I suppose, a bit more like a fruit juice. And for that reason, I can get through a lot of spinach really quickly. So. I'm definitely going to be sowing more of that this month. Right, let's now talk about seeds that if you haven't already sown them over the last couple of months, it really still isn't too late. And that's because some just like to be sown in the summer and some are just really, really robust plants that if necessary, you can sow them pretty much whenever. So the first real summer loving seeds to grow are French beans and I'm growing three different types this year. The first one is a Borlotti bean called Stocky Witzboon. I got them sown actually a couple of months ago and they're growing away, but it's not too late if you'd like to sow it this month. And the other Borlotti bean that I'm growing is this. As you can see, I did a very neat job of ripping the top off this. This is Borlotto lingua de fuoco, or fire tongue bean. And I talked about sowing these a couple of weeks ago when I sowed and planted up my three sisters raised beds just at the other end of the veg garden. As well as that, this is a really interesting French bean to grow. This is a yin yang bean, which you can dry and it looks absolutely brilliant. So now that we've got the beans covered, a couple of other things that you can sow that aren't too late that are really just, in my head, I used the word a minute ago, robust seeds that are gonna be good in so many months. And the first one is beetroot. Now this year, I'm growing two different varieties. I'm growing Chogia and I'm also growing good old Bolt Hardy. And I'm gonna recommend this month going with good old Bolt Hardy. You get so many seeds in a packet and it is brilliant value and they are tough as old boots once you get them going. And you can either leave them and harvest the beetroots or like loads of things I've talked about this week, you can also harvest them as baby leaves for your salads. So alongside the beetroots, another thing that I'm sowing at the moment, and you might actually see a few little rows along here, these are my radishes and I'm growing three different types. So the one that I have closest to me here, this is called Mahantong. It's an F1 variety. And then these two rows are two other varieties. The first one is Cherry Bell, the typical little round 
red radishes. And these ones are French breakfast, the more elongate ones with a white end to them. Now, I sowed these about three or four weeks ago. They're doing really nicely, but what I'm going to do this month is successionally sow so that I can keep harvesting them. Two other pretty cool seeds that you can sow that will give you really nice, interesting crops to add to your veg garden are kohlrabi. <laughs> the wind's blowing my seed packets away. Are kohlrabi. They look really cool. And I mentioned it last month, I have never grown these before. I've also never eaten them before, so I'm really interested to try them. And as well as that, turnips. And this year I'm growing Turnip Tokyo Cross, which produces lovely little white turnips. Now, at the same time as sowing my radishes, I sowed those turnips. And you can see I've got two little rows here. They're doing really, really nicely as well. And actually, I thinned them out a few days ago. And when I thinned them out, I used the thinnings to add to salads. They're delicious. They just have a really nice kind of tart green taste, which is brilliant. Right, if you're an organized person, which I sometimes am and sometimes I'm really not, you may also want to be thinking about planting some stuff that's going to give you crops either later in the autumn and into winter or even further than that, late winter into early spring. So if you're doing that, the two things that you want to be thinking about are carrots and purple sprouting broccoli. Now, purple sprouting broccoli is something to get going now get the plants into the beds, let them develop. They're going to bulk up and do a load of their growing now. Then they can kind of sit dormant through the winter. And then in the early spring, you'll start getting those lovely heads of broccoli. Carrots. What I'm choosing to sow at the moment is one called Autumn King 2. The great thing about this, according to the packet, is that because it's a main crop variety that runs on quite late, if the conditions are good, you can actually leave the carrots in the ground and then just harvest them as you need them through the autumn and into the winter, which is brilliant. But what I'm also going to recommend is if you're sowing carrots, sow some spring onions at the same time. They're really easy to grow. You can add them into your salads, stir fries, whatever you're doing, but they work as a really good companion plant because they just help ward off the carrot root fly because of the scent that they give off. At the moment, some of my carrots are sown in amongst shallots, but these are going to help do the same thing. So I would recommend spring onions, and these are spring onion white Lisbon. So as always, each month I promise you one seed that if you sow nothing else, you need to sow this. Well, this month, it's going to be something that you might not necessarily expect. The humble pea. Now, I can't claim glory for this idea because actually I heard it on the radio recently, but it just seemed like such a good idea that made so much sense. And that's that early in the season, we sow early varieties of peas so that we can get a nice, quick, early harvest from them. But actually, you can use that same quick growing nature to your advantage later in the summer. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing with this. I'm going to be sowing another early type of pea now because it's going to mature during the good weather. And then what it'll do is it'll give me another crop of peas, either at the very back end of the summer or even into the early autumn. So for that reason, the early type that I'm going with is Meteor, which is the same one that right in the middle of winter I sow to grow as pea shoots, and then I sow as an early crop a little bit later into the early spring. Now, I am looking around me at the moment, and I have a lot of peas and beans growing, and I'm not sure whether I'm going to have room to put these in, but I'm going to have to find a space because I'm going to be sowing some of those because I want that extra bumper crop later in the summer. So, as always, I hope this has given you some ideas and inspiration. And most of all, I hope it's answered your question if you were wondering in your head, what can I sow in July? Well, this is exactly what I'm going to be sowing. It is by no means an exhaustive list. There are definitely more things you can be trying. Certainly give something a go if you haven't before. And as ever, I really do love hearing from you. So make sure to leave a comment down below. Tell me what you're sowing because it might be the same as myself. It might be something different. Either way, it's really cool to be able to swap a bit of information amongst the gardening community. And as ever, until next time, see you later.